WWE is using guerrilla marketing and Easter eggs to tease the return of Bray Wyatt. Unless this is another false alarm, which if it is, I swear to God. Hey, stay connected. Follow Pro Wrestling Bits. WWE has taken its viral marketing campaign to the streets with more Easter eggs than a birthday party for Jesus. WWE has been playing Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit in live arenas, but only during commercial breaks so they can save on those royalty fees. During a Jefferson Airplane serenade at the SAP Arena on Raw, the lights went red. But it goes deeper than that. Monday Night on Raw, there was also a QR code during an Austin Theory segment backstage. The QR code leads to a cryptic game of Hangman that asks, who killed the world? The answer, you did. But it goes even deeper than that. The first five letters of the White Rabbit guesses are D-E-M-O-N, in that order, spelling the word demon. You know, kind of like the fiend. And guess what? It goes even deeper than that. The font used in the Hangman puzzle is similar to font used on Wyatt's merchandise. And once the puzzle is solved, the numbers 923 flash on the screen, which could also coincide with this Friday SmackDown on September 23rd. We're not done yet, sit down. It gets even deeper than that, pause. In the WWE Extreme Rules graphic for Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle, a lantern can be seen in the background. No explanation needed there. Interestingly enough, this is the only Extreme Rules poster featuring a lantern, suggesting Bray Wyatt might get involved in the fight pit at Extreme Rules. Let's go deeper. If you zoom in on Matt Riddle's right eye, you'll be able to see a picture of Husky Harris. And believe it or not, it gets even deeper than that. Peek this thumbnail graphic I made for this video. You'll notice a QR code. If you take this QR code and drag it to the left, you'll see a picture of Andy Griffith from The Andy Griffith Show. And it gets even deeper than that. If you take this picture of The Fiend and drag it to the left, Barney Fife. What does it all mean? WWE has shrewdly gotten with the times and is generating a viral word of mouth campaign, possibly for one of its biggest returns of the year, if not the biggest. This worked fantastically for AEW, which did everything but say the words CM Punk ahead of his return last year during better times. WWE's teases for Bray Wyatt, to borrow a phrase, go deeper than that. WWE is strictly relying on speculation and subtle Easter eggs to promote this huge return. The announcers haven't said a single word about it, and the onus is on the fan to speculate whom it is. NXT used a similar viral marketing campaign for the return of Zoe Stark, and now it's being used on the main roster to build excitement. It'll be interesting to see how this affects TV ratings, but so far it's working, at least for me, because boy am I excited. Unless this turns out to be yet another Bray Wyatt false alarm. Most recently, many fans expected Bray Wyatt back at Clash at the Castle, as there were reports of WWE possibly bringing him back, and Triple H even answered questions on it. Fans have clamored for a Bray Wyatt return since the day he was shockingly released, but that's not WWE's fault because they never advertised him. This time around, it's along those same lines, but also it's not. If all these teases of a white rabbit, shouts to Jefferson Airplane, and cryptic messages in Bray Wyatt font don't turn out to be Bray Wyatt, WWE only has itself to blame if and when fans lose their shit over a Bray Wyatt controversy like there was another referee stoppage. Some fans have pointed out that Karrion Cross used to go by White Rabbit back in Lucha Underground. Yeah, cool story, but it better not be no Karrion f***ing Cross. Karrion Cross already has enough overproduction from the WWE hype machine. He doesn't need Jefferson Airplane 2. You want this Papa H honeymoon period to come to a screeching halt? Let it be Karrion Cross. No, seriously. Let fans get excited over a Bray Wyatt return only for it to be Karrion Cross. The backlash against Cross will be so brutal he'll be begging for that helmet back just to hide his face. With one return after another stacking momentum for the Triple H era, Bray Wyatt's was the most anticipated and also the biggest to date. There was always a feeling that Bray Wyatt would return. The fact that WWE never stopped selling his merchandise should have at least been an indicator that they still wanted him around in some capacity. When somebody likes their ex's IG posts for over a year after she broke up with him, it's not because he doesn't want her back. And in this situation, Bray Wyatt is the IG model who's finally decided to reconcile with her ex. Isn't love great? Now, as Bray Wyatt returns, he becomes yet another one of Triple H's reclamation projects of talent that was completely ruined, cast aside, or both in the previous era, such as Dakota Kai, Karrion Cross, Hit Row, and let's throw in Alexa Bliss, because there are now some curiously timed rumors that Alexa Bliss is undergoing a character change. 
I really don't want to see any type of reunion between Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss. I thought they brought out the worst in each other, but Triple H has coasted a little bit in this honeymoon era, and now it's time for the real work to begin. Let's see if Papa H is good enough to make Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss work. Bray Wyatt as a reclamation project is particularly important because honestly, I thought the theme could have easily been WWE's next Undertaker. Everything was there for the taking with Bray Wyatt. And though much of this character is a product of Bray Wyatt's undeniably creative mind, The Fiend Bray Wyatt is a day one WWE creation. And as ticket sales, television ratings, and revenues continue to skyrocket in WWE, their merch sales will also stand to explode with a new season of the Firefly Funhouse, fingers crossed, and a reinvigorated Bray Wyatt. Who is the White Rabbit? Why isn't it Karrion Cross? I swear to God. What was your favorite Easter egg? Is Bray Wyatt returning to SmackDown this Friday? Tell me in the comments.